Well guys, that all went perfectly. It's now been several hours since we put the fish in the tank and let's take a look at how they're getting on. Welcome back to the channel guys. So it is absolutely blistering here in the UK at the moment. Look out there, that's pure sunshine, hence the vest, you know, and it's the new merch, look, new merch, new vest merch. I'm a back, can you see? No, you can't see, Never mind. <laughs> so you can see the fresh, well, I'm gonna have to shut that door, aren't I, for a minute, it's gonna bake. It's already hot. <laughs> right, anyway, yeah, you guys can see behind, I don't need these glasses on either, do I? You guys can see behind me, this is the freshwater reef style aquarium. We've got rams in there at the moment, but we've got some new fish coming today that are gonna be a schooling fish and look really, really good in there. Hopefully we get some sort of circling action going on on that island as well, because that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So in this tank, there are four electric blue rams, two Bolivian rams, and there was an old to him, but he did really well. We kept him in here for quarantine for a little bit and then moved him over to the absolutely amazing angelfish aquarium you can see behind me. This is my absolute favorite tank that I've ever set up. I think it looks so good. I'm gonna overlay some images to be honest, because it's really hard to show you with this light beaming on it. I really like it. I love it, guys. Hopefully you guys are really enjoying the series too. I'll leave a link up at the top for a full how-to video of how to build this whole thing from start to finish to add in fish, the lot. But today the fish have arrived. Now I was at work when they arrived, so I'm not gonna be able to, you know, pretend the doorbell's gone and then go and collect them because they're already here. <laughs> so I'll just bring them over into the studio and we can unbox them together. Right then guys, so these fish is probably Right then guys, so these fish have obviously been sent by Sims Tropical Fish, so a massive thank you to them guys. Links are below and above, go and check them out. They're still shipping fish, still got stuff available, go and have a look on their website. Also did a recent video of me touring their shop, I'll leave another link to that, so go and have a look at that as well. After the video of course. <laughs> So this is not going to be a massive unboxing because obviously these are just like schooling fish so we've got quite a few of the same things because you need a lot of fish to create a school of course we've got our special space wrap again to infinity and beyond now there's no heat packs in here this time guys because obviously it's so hot in the uk at the moment that they would just they would just cook them all but oh 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 okay i can see some beauties already first ones ah oh. Da, 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 da. You guessed it, my favorite, your favorite, everyone's favorite, rummy nose tetras, which don't have any rummy nose, red nose at the moment because obviously they're not colored up yet, but give them time, give them time. We're now gonna go and put them over into the freshwater reef aquarium so they can start temperature acclimating. But to be honest, the temperature's gonna be pretty much bang on as it is because it's the same temperature in the air at the moment as it is this water, so. Is that English? I don't even know if that's English. <laughs> there we go, oh, the rams are interested straight away. Okay, so that's the first set of schooling fish. I think it's about 15, something like that in there. Okay, let's go and have a look at the other one. Right guys, bag number two is, we have got Cardinal Tetris guys. They are looking good. Everything seems to be good in those ones. Let's get those over the temperature. I've got to be quick because it's hot today and I just want to get everything sorted. So guys, it's now been about 15 minutes since I put those fish in there. Now, sorry if all of that felt a little bit rushed, but it's so hot in here and I had to shut the door because it was affecting all the lighting. But I've got that open now. Kate was filming and she couldn't even stand the heat. She didn't want to help. She came back in time to give me a hand, so that was good. But, you know, we had to do it quickly. No point messing around with fish in this weather. Get them in the tank and let's get them all getting acclimated and happy. Right guys, I just quickly want to point out, when I say it's boiling hot in here, what I'm trying to actually say is it's very humid in here. The air temperature isn't that bad at all. It's like 20 degrees centigrade, which is like 68, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, I think that's right. But in any of the unheated tanks, the temperature of the water is actually 18 degrees centigrade, which is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. So everything is good for the fish. It's just obviously humid with two people in here breathing, making just like, ah, oh, this I look. So here they are all ready to go you may have noticed a third bag in there guys i'm going to talk about that another time that's not something we're going to be talking about at the moment but yeah so we've got our two schooling fish just two sort of medium-sized schools you know that's i think that's a really going to be a really good look but they're ready now to put into the nets so we're just going to pour the water out into a bucket because we don't want that water going in our tank and contaminate it and then we can release them into the freshwater reef aquarium
Well guys, that all went perfectly and straight away the Cardinals went right round to the back like I thought they were gonna do and they've already started rotating around, which is really good to see. And all the fish seem to be really happy and healthy, so that's brilliant. But now we can put the rummy nose in. Don't get me wrong, I love a Cardinal. I love the colors that you get with a Cardinal, but it's the behavior of the rummy nose that's absolutely fantastic. And again, guys, all the rummy nose seem to be doing straight away really well. That's that's not English. <laughs> really well straight away. They're already starting to school. Look at the rams. They're all like, what the hell is going on? So they go around the back there. All the cardinals are currently, look, you can just about see them there. They're around the back just hiding the moment. That's fine. I'm just going to leave them to it now. We'll come back when they're coloured up and looking great. Right, guys, it's now been several hours since we put the fish in the tank. And let's take a look at how they're getting on. Well, hey, look, we've already got the schooling action going on. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Look at how vibrant and good those neons are now looking as well the rummy nose well their nose is already going red they will go even more red than this as the days go by but really happy with that look at how well they school see cardinals do tend to just sort of bob about in one area and the brilliant thing about the rummy nose is look they just swim together like they're like a flock of birds but obviously not birds they're fish look at that another look, the rams are all involved as well i've just fed them as well guys i should have put that on camera i'll add that in the next time tomorrow i'm going to feed them i'll film it as well because it looks really cool feeding them all the whole tank just goes nuts now but there's so much going on isn't there look oh we've got some rams down here ram action ram action oh look and there's one of our whip tails it's the whip tail <laughs> what are you talking about just saying it cool whip yeah there's the completely different colors the whip tails look at this one this one's like a, a dark color and this one's like kind of some areas are see through y or, or translucent, and other areas are darker. Maybe I'll look that up because you're probably finding that's going to be like characteristics of maybe a male and a female. I don't know. If you guys are interested in any of the new merch, then we have got the vest, the red t shirt, the green t shirt, and the blue t shirt, and lots of other colours. If you guys are interested in buying any of this merch, then click the banner that's underneath the description for this video and all my other videos. It'll take you straight to my Teespring and you can just buy it there and it'll just arrive at your door like a week or so later. So it turns out, guys, that that coloration difference in the whip tails is nothing to do with the sex and of them is just different colors i think mainly because one of them was on the sort of sand bed it made it go lighter the other one was up on a darker rock but apparently the way to tell the difference between the sexes in this species is that the males have a beard which is awesome <laughs> and the females don't but i think mine are way too young at the moment to be able to tell the difference so we just have to wait and see how that goes i mean hopefully i've got a male and a female and then we can get some babies that would be cool wouldn't it i've never bred anything like that before the only thing i've bred is guppies as you guys know which isn't hard <laughs> but anyway let's get these guys fed so to feed them i've currently got like a tiny little pellet here and what i like to do is just sprinkle it in this back corner so that this stream just chucks it all deep into the water it comes around like that these guys are usually first to spot it they're already on it. We've got one low running nose. Oh, they're all coming over. They're all coming over. Go on, guys. Random costume change. So I think that is actually a really good stocking level for the tank. Now we're just gonna let that be, let it all grow out. And that should all be looking really good in just a couple of months time, to be honest. It's not gonna take that long at all. It's already pretty much there. It just needs to thicken out a bit. Thick. Which leads me on to the no water change tank, guys. This is gonna be featured in the next video. We're gonna be adding some fish to it, doing a bit of a clean up as well, and taking out some of that duckweed on the top because that's just already got crazy. But look at all that grime. Basically, there's no fish in there, which means that stuff just settles because there's not much flow coming from that little filter. But we'll sort that out and talk about that on the next video anyway. Another random costume change. But when it's all said and done, guys, I think the tanks are coming along really well. And as I mentioned, be sure to click the banner beneath the video, beneath the description, and it'll take you to my Teespring where you can buy some of the merch. Obviously, you don't have to, just if you want to. And of course, this wouldn't be an empty fish tanks video without an epic montage of all the tanks. Go! Go! 